All right, here's a shave biopsy of uh, sun damaged skin. And uh, clinically, they were wondering if this was a squamous cell carcinoma or an actinic keratosis. And you can see that the skin's abnormal. Their epidermis is acanthotic and thickened. You've got kind of a thick layer of ortho and para keratosis over top of it. Um, so it looks like there's some abnormalities there, but it's a little bit hard to tell. It doesn't seem quite like actinic keratosis. It looks actually like the granular layer is thickened, and a lot of the keratin is actually orthokeratin without retained um, retained nuclei, so rather than a bunch of parakeratosis, much of it's compact ortho. So that's kind of almost like lichen simplex chronicus, like from chronic scratching. So you could be wondering, well, why does this person have this single lesion? And I think that the clue, though, is not in the center here, but as we go to the periphery of the lesion, we find this. And here we have kind of this um, little stack of parakeratosis, and right underneath it, we see some, uh, some uh, pale, cleared out keratinocytes and some dying keratinocytes. So this kind of funny vacuolation change and this little invagination here that the stack of parakeratin is coming out of. So this is called a coronary lamella, and uh, this is a good example of porokeratosis. And porokeratosis is, is relatively common, and sometimes it's hard to, to diagnose if you only see the middle of the lesion. You'll often have a variety of kind of reactive changes. Sometimes there's uh, acanthosis and thickening like this, and lichenification and reactive change. Sometimes there's atrophy. Sometimes there's a little atypia. The dermis oftentimes has fibrosis and inflammation. So I find that often on these biopsies, I'll be scratching my head saying, well, the epidermis is abnormal, but I'm not really sure what category to put it in, and then at the periphery I'll find a coronoid lamella. And that's a really useful finding. That's what you really need to find to make the diagnosis of porokeratosis. See here at this edge here, here's the coronoid lamella. You've got this little tower of scale. Oftentimes it kind of leans back. The parakeratin kind of leans back towards the center of the lesion. And underneath it, um, usually there's this kind of vacuolation change and occasional dying keratinocytes. So it's really important not just to find a little tower of parakeratosis, but to find that little vacuolation and dying keratinocytes. And porokeratosis clinically is a little ring, a little scaly ring. So if you shave the whole thing, you should have one uh, coronary lamella at one side, and if you go all the way to the other side of the biopsy, if you're lucky, you'll find the other one. And we're lucky in this case, they've shaved around the whole thing. Now, not always do they get the whole lesion in the shave. Sometimes the shave is a little off-centered or depending on what section you have, you might not see both sides. But if you find both, it's perfect. So here again, we have an invagination of the epidermis. We've got a tower of parakeratosis kind of coming out of the top and leaning back. And then underneath, you've got the dying keratinocytes, these little pink guys down here, and the little kind of uh, white or clear vacuolated keratinocytes also. And <clears throat> let me show you from low power. See, so from low power here, we've got one coronary lamella over here, a bunch of kind of reactive change in the middle, and then all the way to the other end, there's the other coronary lamella. And I like to think that this is like an old-timey steam engine, like a train that's uh, steaming out from the, the middle of the lesion, and it's got a tower of smoke trailing back behind it towards the middle of the lesion, like, so like from back in the Wild West in the old days when we had steam trains that made lots of smoke. So maybe that doesn't work for you, but I kind of like that visual, so that's the way I think of it. And here, look at this piece here. Again, we've got the same kind of thing. We've got one coronary lamella over on this side. In fact, we kind of have two. Sometimes you get a couple coronary lamella. It's not always a perfect single lesion, but you sometimes have the, here's one coronary lamella here. Here's another one right here. So we have kind of two of them together, a bunch of reactive change in the middle. Oh, there's actually another little coronary lamella. So sometimes you can have several of them uh, kind of close together. They don't always make one at, at each end. But when we go over to the other side of the shave, again, you find another one. A little tower of parakeratosis, vacuolation change, dying keratinocytes. So this is porokeratosis. And it's a pretty common thing. And I find that a lot of times they, they give me trouble until I find the coronary lamella and then I say, ah, it's porokeratosis, no problem. So uh, a nice, uh, useful thing to know about in Dermpath.